I'm Erin Conrad. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from Two Works For You. A Tulsa mother in court facing murder charges in the deaths of her two toddlers. Denisha Willis sat in front of a judge this morning for her arraignment hearing. She faces two second degree murder charges in the deaths of her two year old and three year old. You'll remember the days long search for Tony and Miracle Crook back in May after they disappeared from their apartment complex. Police found the toddler's bodies in two separate waterways. For more information on this story, go to our website, KJRH.com. And also new this afternoon, a man is behind bars after allegedly staging his mother's death to look like an accident. Tulsa police say they found an 80-year-old woman dead at a home near East 36th Street and South Yale on Sunday. Detectives say after some investigating, it appeared the scene was staged. That's when police questioned the victim's son, Scott Wade. They say during that questioning, he admitted to planning to kill his mother and cover it up. Wade has been arrested for first degree murder. And new this afternoon, the latest coronavirus numbers are in for Oklahoma. The State Department of Health reporting 1,101 new cases here in the state, bringing our total number of cases since March to nearly 78,000. The state is also reporting two new deaths. Our state's death toll now sits at 948 deaths since March. All right, let's get a check of today's forecast from meteorologist Kerrigan Chauvin. Well, it's going to be warm and sunny for the last day of summer. Cooler by tomorrow. We're kicking off fall with cloudy skies and rain chances during your morning commute. Highs only rising to near 70 degrees. 70s stick around for your Wednesday. By Thursday and Friday, we dry up and warm up back into those 80s. And then by the weekend, things are looking nice with a cool down for next week. All right, thank you, Kerrigan. That's a look at our headlines. I'm Erin Conrad. Two works for you.